Uh, yes, if everybody can see the flyer that I passed out, if everybody's slide, it starts off with a small paragraph on the front page and a bunch of numbers, numbers on the second and third page. What this is, is an Excel spreadsheet. If you look at the second page, it starts off with 83,629, uh, I believe. And you'll notice that there are in ascending orders volume, uh, numerically, starting at the top and going all the way down to the bottom. And what this is, is a listing of the accounts in the, in the budget book that have increased and by how much they've increased. And it starts off with the highest dollar amount at the top of the page, and on the end of the second page, there's a very small dollar amount, because I didn't give you the accounts that are go into the negative, but there's a whole spreadsheet if you want the whole thing. But the point being that all of the increases we're seeing in the budget this year <coughs> are pretty well spread out, and almost all those you see with the lines around the dashes, those all are related to salaries for employees, like uh, insurance, etc. So it's employee cost. So that's what the sheet is. And in reference to uh, Mary Lee's, Louise's request that I ask the uh, finance officer to come in uh, on our December 1st meeting, I make the motion that we invite her to come in so we can talk about the default budget. Correct. We have a second to Mr. Pierce's motion. Um, we need I'll, your... I'll second it, but I want to comment on what he just said. Okay. Seconded by Mr. Jones. Uh, the uh, summary sheet that you... Uh... Michael, I don't have one. I'll give you one. The summary oh, sheet. Right there someplace. The summary sheet you supplied with the the printout um, highlights uh, what we were looking for basically at our last meeting in terms of where the increases are coming from. Mm -hmm. um, 154 line items increased, totaling 1.1 million. The medium increase of 7.4 percent. 75 of the 154 line items are wage and benefit-related increases, totaling 697,000, with a median increase of 4.3 percent. Of that 697,000 in wage and benefit increases, only four, five, or rather, 504, 505,000 are actually included in the default budget. So there's no choice for the voter. You're going to get 505 of that 697, regardless of how the voter votes as it stands at the moment. Now, you prepared for motion because we don't want to take up the fire chief's time. This is something we're going to go through in detail December 1st. I just wanted to highlight the summaries of Appreciate the analysis that. that was done to date with regard to, you know, where we, where we saved over half a million dollars in debt service being eliminated, plus to another 295 on the bottom line budget for a total of something over $800,000, just where that $800,000 went. The summary sheet and the spreadsheet behind it uh, gives you a better view as to where that money can be found. Okay. 